Today's message is going to definitely bless somebody's soul. Um, God said we are in a suddenly season, suddenly, quickly, and unexpectedly. You know, there is a time we have to wait on the Lord, but um, there's a time when God says there's a time about moving. You know, sometimes there's some things that we've done and it didn't work and God saying go back and do it again. Um, Deuteronomy 28 and 2. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you if you obey the voice of the Lord your God. So I give you an example. Um, I had my, my vehicle got hit in, uh, you know, in September um, and I just I got paid for, it, you know, probably about a couple of weeks ago. Um, but, you know, I was going to give up and just say <clears throat> just taking too long with all this insurance stuff and everything. But God said, go back and do it because we're in a suddenly season. So I kept at it, you know, so I did it and I got that taken care of. Second Peter three and eight. But do not forget this one thing, dear friends, with the Lord, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. Deuteronomy 15 and 10, it says, give generously to them and do so without a grudging heart. And then because of this, the Lord your God will bless you in all your work and everything you put your hands to. So God is saying, whatever you put your hands to in this season will prosper, you know, and it really says hand. So that means if you use two, God's going to give you a double blessing. Like, I hope you caught that. But Luke 6 and 38, it says, give and it will be given to you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, will it be poured into your lap? For with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. So that's saying, like, let's just say if you give a homeless man um, a meal, to him, that is a miracle. You know what I'm saying? To you, it's not a miracle. You're like, well, I don't, you know, I, I can go buy food. I don't, that's not a problem. But by the measure you use, see, you got to look at the measure that it is to the person that is needing it. So if that is a miracle to them, God's going to bless you back. I hope you caught that spiritually. Um, Proverbs 19 and 17, it says, one who is gracious to a poor man lends to the Lord and he will repay him for his good deeds. So that means that God is never going to be in debt to you. If you bless somebody, God is going to bless you back. Cause it talks about that in the scripture about, you know, we paying our debts. So when you do something for God, God is in debt to you. So God is going to pay you back. And you know, you might be saying, well, I don't feel like I'm in a suddenly season. What well, the Bible says, speak those things as though they already were so you can have it. Psalms 34 and 8, it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Try him out and see. I mean, this is a suddenly season. So all you got to do is when you put your hands to it, you say, Lord, this is a suddenly season as, as your prophet has said, Lord. And I believe that. So all you got to do is just believe it. You got to receive it, you know, and whatever you do, whatever you bless, like this season is a good season to plant. You know what I'm saying? To sow seeds. So when you sow seeds into people, they're going to come back. might not come back in the form of money. It'll come back in the form of favor or discounts or whatever the case may be. I'm telling you, believe what I'm saying. Love y'all. God bless.